what's up what's up what's up it is travel diva mila part two i just made it into the premium lounge i've been here about over a little bit over an hour because my resort is about 30 minutes away from the airport um i this is my first time on the bright line from orlando down to miami and my train doesn't leave for another two hours but um i just wanted to give you guys a couple tips first of all this place is very 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 clean now, anybody that knows me or, or has watched any of my other previous videos, um, I take Amtrak all the time. And obviously, Brightline is only in California and in the southern or mid to southern central to southern Florida. So it's not like I'm going to be able to take this everywhere. But you guys, this station is absolutely uh, just beautiful. The people are very nice. The customer service is on point. And I met one of the HR reps um, at my conference so i'm gonna have to actually uh, i got her card i'm gonna have to actually email her and let her know this is definitely on point i would highly recommend so far um now i will tell you this they said they had a lot of snacks um they don't <laughs> uh, i see tons like ew, it's pepsi products for all you pepsi fans but you know i drink my dr pepper so shout out to dr pepper the only thing i don't have is a grenadine to add my little cherry flavor to make my dr pepper cherry but they have these healthy snacks. So for all you healthy people, and they have a coffee machine, for all the people that are health conscious, I am currently eating Terra, and these are vegetable chips. Now, I know I said I was bougie and stuff, but I ain't that bougie. Get me some Lay's, get me some Pringles, get me some Ruffles. Uh, a shout out to Mike Sales Potato Chips, even though they sold their recipe to some new company that I don't know about in Dayton, Ohio. But, um... Needless to say, I'm eating parsnips, sweet potatoes, um, regular potatoes, which is okay. I had tasted one of those. And I don't know what the heck Batilla is. Um, I don't know if I'm even saying that right. But I just wanted to make sure I came on here. Um, I know it's people behind me, but we, there's an actual beer and wine stand. Initially, it's advertised as free drinks. Guess what? It's not. However, they do have the one highlight that I did like. You can verify your passport and verify your ID to make sure you are 21 um, or older in order to drink. So that's a plus. The machine is back there. And then they actually have you. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, if you like your beer from the tap, um, they actually have that available to you. There are people walking through now, so I can't actually show you. I was going to show you the refrigerator. There's plenty of Aquafina and Pepsi, Mountain Dew, uh, ginger ale and then diet pepsi for those there's no pepsi zero for those people that are super super health conscious um and then they have an actual hot griddle for two things i don't know what that's supposed to be but it looks like it might be chips and salsa so i'm gonna actually i don't know if i can zoom in here will it let me nope those are the two actual refrigerators where you can get your drinks from and then the chips are on top they haven't refilled the actual um heaters yet on the elements to figure out exactly what that's going to be i just wanted to come on first of all it is absolutely beautiful it's called bright line for a reason this is the premium lounge and i don't know if you can see all the beautiful windows and there's plenty of seating in here you do pay extra for the ticket but i was really paying not only for the extra perks but i was paying for my single chair the one thing i can tell you guys um, as you know i'm wearing my knee brace um, not both of them today. I have the other one in my bag because my left knee is doing okay. Right knee is hurting really bad from my conference and walking around. But just to give you a heads up, um, I really like the station so far. So we have to actually give do another video when I get on board. I'm going to let you guys know how this is. It's supposed to be way faster than um, Amtrak. It usually takes me around five and a half to six hours, especially if there are no delays getting from Orlando to Miami. And this is only like a three hour and 40 minute train. So I'm looking forward to that. And then my single seat, because of course, as you know, I had my little issue with the Amish lady heading towards Denver last time for, from Chicago to Denver and the lady wouldn't get up. So I want to see how that's going. Um, you know, once again, I am bougie on some things, but not bougie on the dang on chips. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.